Hey guys, Dave from Dads Are Funny here, and I have to sadly report that we lost a couple episodes worth of footage. Uh, fortunately, though, it was mostly us digging for Obsidian, which seemed to go on for an eternity, and uh, grabbing a couple more diamonds. So, uh, the only uh, builds that we made, uh, well, I'll just show you here at the end of this uh, segment. I wanted to give you guys, though, a quick tutorial. Uh, I, I hate to even use the word tutorial because that's not really our... our uh, uh, specialty, but uh, I wanted to give you guys a, the rationale behind our design path or development path through TechIt and in particular Industrial Craft 2. So that's going to replace probably episodes or that's going to make up uh, the episodes 16 and 17. Uh, and uh, so let's go ahead and just get started and I'll end this quick lesson, if you will, with a show of what we did build, which was very small, probably two or three items in the house, including uh, a pool which you can drop off now and land in uh, instead of having to go down the ladder. So that's a plus. When I talk about Tekkit, I'm primarily talking about Industrial Craft 2 initially. And the first thing you need to know about IC2 is rubber trees. And they have a distinctive uh, two-block top and little dots of resin on them, which look a lot like the bus stop icon. Aha, there's one. Okay, well, sadly, it's very high up. Okay, so how are we going to get the resin? Well, we use a tree tap. Now, the tree tap is something, and I'll just go ahead and use my creative mode powers here, or my cheat mode. And by the way, guys, we will revert the map back. We're not going to give ourselves anything out of this uh, set of material that we have here. Uh, so when we start uh, the next episode back in action in survival mode we will start with our baseline equipment all right well let's make some tree taps and actually we're going to make five and you'll see why in a moment but for now uh, this should do and there okay so we have five save that okay we'll take this tree tap and we'll grab that resin Nice. Okay, we got three. Uh, I've got some more resin here, so we'll just add that to the stockpile. Now, resin is very important because uh, basically you take resin in your furnace and you make, surprise, surprise, rubber. And rubber is, along with copper ore, uh, the foundation for uh, insulated cables, which connect everything and you can make multiple different kinds of cables. We're going to start with the simplest ones. And you can see here we're making rubber out of resin. Uh, okay, so we'll go ahead and just take that there and go to the next step, which is copper ore. Now, copper ore just comes from uh, copper as you find it in nature here. And uh, we turn that into ingots the traditional way, so I'm not going to show you that. Just put it in a furnace. And then you build copper cable uninsulated by simply stringing three pieces of uh, ingot uh, together. And then you can take that and, there we go, combine that with the rubber to make cables. A couple of different ways to do this, but they both result in the same, uh, let's see here, uninsulated copper cable. Actually, this is one of the ways to do it. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and show that to you. You could do it this way, which would make four, right? Or you can do it this way, which is going to make four sets of six. Or 24. So 24 and 4 is 28. So we have our copper cable. Uh, and our tree tap, uh, obviously, partly consumed. We have four more here that we'll use in a moment. All right, so we've got insulated copper cable. Uh, we've got a tree tap. We've used both of those. Uh, we're going to make a couple of kind of important pieces to add on to that, which is uh, a machine block. Uh, now, refined iron is just iron that's put in a furnace a second time. I won't show you that. It's pretty easy to do. You treat it just like any of the other things you typically stick in a furnace. So you take your iron, you put it in the furnace, and you get out refined iron. Now, you could take refined iron in this pattern and make a machine block. And this is very helpful. It's another tool 
or submachine, if you will, that's used for more complicated machines. Now, there's another piece, which is the electric circuit. Uh, there's more advanced versions of this along with just about everything else in industrial craft. So we're going to take uh, probably three of these and make this pattern. There we go, along with refined iron once again. Again, something you're going to need quite a bit of, I think, down the road as you progress. And you know what? Let's just make three, like I said. Okay, so one, two, three. All right. Now, we've got machine blocks. We've got insulated copper cable. We've got electric circuit, or electronic circuits, I should say. We've got all kinds of little building blocks. And so we're going to start... Uh, making machines, but we're going to take one more moment to make one more component, subcomponent. I don't know if I'd call it a machine, but it's certainly something that's very critical. For those of you uh, who have played Tekkit, you probably are familiar with what I'm about to build. Now, tin, again, just another uh, ore. I'll take a moment to show that to you. Uh, tin here uh, is uh, sort of a lighter color of diamond, uh, similar pattern, but a lighter color. And when you mine tin, uh, and you fire it up in a furnace, you get ingots, as you typically would. And whoops, put that there, put that there. And these uh, ingots can be used to make lots of different things, including uh, iron boots. Uh, whoops, sorry, I just used iron. Guess you can't make uh, iron boots out of tin. All right, so we've got our tin. Whoops. Ah, that's fine. And we've got our redstone in the center and insulated copper cable again. One, let's just make four of these. All right, we'll just collect the rest of the goodies back. Okay, so we have yet another building block as we progress. Now, at this point, we're ready to make the machines, and these are the machines that we've that Ben and I have made that we we lost the footage of. So I wanted to double back and give you guys a tutorial on this. I don't know if I'd call it a tutorial, I guess, but uh, it's a kind of an explanation of how we proceeded through, either based on your tips or uh, research that we completed on our own. So we're going to take the rechargeable battery and place that uh, along with a, a machine block and a regular furnace, which I'll pull out of the inventory since I don't have a spare one of those. Whoops, furnace, furnace. Okay, so there we go. All right, so with that, we get a generator. Uh, that's one important machine, generates power. We'll talk about that in a moment. But another important machine is the macerator. Uh, that requires flint, again, a common substance. And we'll take three of those and drop the rest back along with whoops some cobblestone on the side and yet another machine block and on the bottom our friendly neighborhood electric circuit electronic circuit all right that's our second machine and that's the macerator this essentially will help us multiply our efficiency when we mine uh, another device I like to make is the extractor. Uh, the extractor is uh, something that helps us get more efficient conversion of resin to rubber. And so that's helpful. Again, an electronic circuit is necessary along with a machine block, which I'll just go ahead and grab another. And there we go, extractor. Now, these are the three basic machines, generator, macerator, extractor, uh, that I like to, to build uh, in the game. Uh, and that's basically how far we got when we lost uh, our uh, footage. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and make an iron furnace for purposes of demonstration, uh, because that's another machine I like to have around. It's just a more efficient furnace. So these machines um, work together. Uh, the generator generates power. We'll put that right here. 
And at this point, um, we're going to connect that to things that we want to power, which in this case are the macerator and the extractor. And over here, we'll put our iron furnace. We'll give that a little space. All right. And so the generator for now is going to run off typical uh, coal power or other kinds of power that you probably would have at the beginning of your, you know, tech it process. Uh, nothing terribly sophisticated. No nuclear power plants yet. So we're generating, we're generating power. Well, but it's not doing anything. Well, yes, it is. It's being stored inside an internal fixed battery, if you will. And I'm going to come along and tap that energy and put it into the battery. Now you saw how rapidly that filled. And now you're going to see a slow incremental fill as this coal is fired. And you see my last piece of coal inside the generator is generating a little bit more power. And finally, it stops. Uh, also notice that if there's nothing to do, it will start. But if we let this fill up, it will stop again. And basically what's happening there is, is that we've stopped having something to work on, either on the left, on the right here, or in this case, the internal battery. There's nothing left to store. So that's kind of how the generator works. And let's just watch as it stops again. Uh, the battery's full. Can't do that. Nothing on either side. Uh, can't do that. So it's just going to stop. Now, the macerator is very interesting. We're going to take some of our ore, and I'm going to get a whole big old stack of it here. Let's take iron ore. All right. Whoops and put a whole big bunch of it here. Now you'll see I don't have a power source, but how's it working? Well, it's working because the power is coming from this generator through this insulated copper cable. Now this copper cable is one of different thresholds. It's 32 electric unit capacity, if you will, current strength, amperage, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so it's perfectly fine. Now did you notice we got two for one? We got two iron dusts for, for that one iron ore. We're going to take that to iron dust, put it in here. Oh, but we need more fuel. So we'll go ahead and grab some coal. And actually, we won't. We're going to use our battery. Now, what's interesting is, sorry, guys, the battery doesn't work. So there's, there's certain restrictions on what can power what. So we'll go ahead and get our coal. And we'll add the coal here. And you can see that, sure enough, we've gotten one iron ore, turned it into two dust, and now we're going to get two ingots. So we've doubled our efficiency. That was one of the main reasons you've heard Ben and I talking about machine blocks, electric circuits, generators, and macerators. We, we want to double our efficiency. That's also why we have not or, uh, mined all of our ore and turned it into uh, smelted ingots. We wanted to wait and smelt as much as possible with the macerator in place and again we had two plus six is eight out of instead of four we get eight dusts uh, which turn into eight ingots which is great now on the extractor side of things you can put all kinds of stuff in the extractor to make let's go back over here put all kinds of stuff in the extractor and i don't know why this guy's not giving us any resin but let's see if we've got any floating around here Sometimes it likes to hide. And then what we'll do is we'll chop this down. And I know I'm not supposed to use a diamond pick, but that's all I've got, guys. All right. Let me show you a few more things you can do with the extractor. Okay. I should have left that block. I got a suggestion not to chop down the bottom block. Thank you very much. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of comments on this diamond pick. All right. Uh, all right. So on the extractor side, there we've got the rubber. Uh, we can also do... Uh, whoops, uh, one resin into the extractor to get multiple rubber out the back end, which is good. And we'll see what happens here. Three. Nice. Three to one. So we've got that. And then we can also put in just the rubber wood itself. So you can just chuck anything you want in here and this baby will just pop out resin all day. 
Love that. I think that's great. And uh, that's the basic for machines. Now, there's one other really important thing we want to learn, and that is when you have uh, certain uh, machines, like uh, furnaces and things, you can use a pick to remove them. Uh, that's not going to be the case, uh, for example, if I go the long route here, you can see the slow buildup when I try to destroy this. And I got nothing, right? Okay. And also, with the with respect to these machines, you know what, let me just go ahead and... Ah, sapling. Perfect. Let's try this again. Alright. Ah! Get the old tree tap out. Perfect. Alright, some more resin. Let's go ahead and make another iron furnace. Okay, there's our iron furnace. Now, we're going to do something else now that we have an extractor. Uh, and that is, we're going to make this dust. Uh, but we can try all kinds of things to put in here to make dust, right? Uh, we can try... Uh, copper ore, we could try tin ore. As a matter of fact, uh, that's one of the things uh, that I'm going to kind of accelerate here, is let's look for dust. Okay, so we've got uh, tin dust, which would come from tin ore, and copper dust, which would come from copper ore. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix those dusts together in uh, a ratio. And in this case, it's going to be three sets of copper to tin, and for every uh, one of those uh, that we have, whoops, there we go, five of those, that yields ten bronze dust. So bronze dust, if we put it into the good old uh, iron furnace, which, uh, let's see here, just place that anywhere and put the coal in. Bronze dust will give us bronze ingots. So we're combining tin and copper to make bronze, and in this case, uh, we'll get, you know, 10 of those. Um, and we're going to use six of them for a very special tool. All right, so these six are going to be put together in a kind of a Y shape, kind of like a f American football goal. And we can use that to quickly... Let's see here. Is anything in here? Okay, let's get that out of there. Uh, we can use this to quickly dismantle a machine uh, and use it later. So that's kind of it for the summary of the stuff you need to learn, I think, just to get the get off the ground and tech it. 